cool. Very cool. I like the hair. Thank you. Cool. You guys ready? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, here we go. I might, because it, it has only like red and yellow on it in the piece, but I'm, I'm thinking about just adding a couple pops of color. Yeah, yeah. Basically, I'm in it, but I'm taking myself out of it. You know, because before, you know, I used to do all that Keith Haring style line work, and that was something I really connected to, only because I listened to what I was doing. But you know, if I tried to just add that for the sake of adding it to something like this, it would just be a mark. It wouldn't be, you know, like a musician, like a guitar player, you know, Slash and Jimi Hendrix, all these guys, they can rip and shred, but really, you know, when it comes down to it, you play the guitar solo for the song, and it speaks for itself. So, you know, in Sweet Child of Mine, the part where he does that uh, ascending arpeggio, that's awesome and it's really cool, but it also fits the song. So basically, I'm wanting to paint what fits the song, the piece. So, it's just a lot of listening. And, yeah, again, if there's too many notes, I take them out. So whatever works. I like to use what I have around me, and I feel like that's where a really interesting um, challenge arises. Um, instead of going, well, you know, I need a red, or I need, you know, a violet or something, and going out and buying it, you know, I've learned to mix those colors, but, um, I just learned, it's just all about making kind of different choices. So, these, basically, I have, like, eight colors on me right now, the rest are, you know, in, in the garage, but, um, I'm just like, this is what I have, let's see what I can make with it. I like, I've learned lately about... You know, minimal, less is more, works so well, and is so, um, just so strong. But, um, and often I'll just see the color palette, like I just like to use, like I used to use like 20 colors in a piece and just, it just be everywhere and very, um, just, just chaotic. I like the chaos, but sort of in a controlled manner. <laughs> more as a vessel instead of someone that you know paints neo expressions expression yeah. like John Chobaskia or you know a cubes painter like Picasso at this point I'm really not looking to categorize myself categorize myself on anything but only just a painter a creator but um, yeah I, I mean I could say which are which I you know was thinking you know I could be an abstract figurative artist but you know, I really hate to involve myself in anything, honestly. I did a commission for a law firm in Miami. Um, we, for the, you know, for the life of us, couldn't decide what to do. Because, I mean, I don't know, how would you paint a, uh, something to do, a painting to do with law, like how would you do that? You know, do you just uh, paint a bunch of books or, uh, you know, a gavel? I'm like, mm, that's not me. I basically did like a version of their uh, sign outside, but um, yeah, it just had drips and spray paint. It was real graphic, very um, bold, and um, yeah, and they love it. And so, in a, you know, there's just some negative space at the bottom, so I added some uh, scales of justice, you know, I thought it might need, so I drew it with charcoal. That was just a fun project. And then shipping it was another fun thing. Um, <laughs> yeah, dragging it into the, um, 
uh, the UPS store, and I'm going, you know, there's guys here helping little old ladies with, with cards and sending stationery and things, and they, you know, I'm bringing in this. Hold on. You know, I'll be right there. You know, I'm walking around with it, and, um, you know, and, you know, someone come around the car, man, that's dope. Yeah, that's dope. You know, wow, you know, we're going to have to make a box. It was just a neat experience. So they actually ended up having to make a box, like, tape and staple cardboard together to make a box for it to send it. And then, um, yeah, they sent it. And so it was, it was cool. So that was, that was super fun. Simply just about the picture and the process and how it makes you feel. You know, there's no need to, uh, really there's, it's, it's, you know, it's fun. You know, I don't, really like 99.9% .9 of it is fun. There's probably 1% of it that becomes work. But um, just to, just, you know, to be lighthearted and have fun with it, if, if you're a painter or whatever you may do. Um, yeah, I, I feel like a lot of people think there has to be struggle involved and, you know, to feel like you're making a good piece of art or a good piece or a good work, like you really have to, you know, bleed over it and worry over it and throw things around and splash stuff and 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 it's just all about the process. And I mean, life is a process. Life is. Um, I like to think of this as a marathon. You know, I'll remember this, and I may cover over that, and that's fine. It, it's paint. You can just cover over it and or remark it or wash it off. It's just about process, living with it, um, and just it's about being in the moment.